what is the good and the bad of Trimix. I'm going to dive deep into it in this episode. Hello there. In this episode, we're going to talk about Trimix. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So what is Trimix? Trimix is really three medication that is put together in a liquid. It's in a solution and comes with a powder and you have to mix it with a thorough water and you have to inject it into the penis. What? So it's three medication that has to be compounded from a specialized pharmacy. So you can't just go to CVS or Walgreens to buy it and you can't get it over the counter. It has to be prescribed by a medical doctor. Okay. And what's interesting about it is that it can come in bimix, which is only two of the medication, or trimix, which has three different medication uh, that works together. It's considered the next step if you take Viagra or Cialis and you're not responding to it, or that you've been taking those medication for a while and it stopped working. <laughs> Now, you know I'm a big proponent of treating your ED without medication. Nice. And checking your blood work and looking at your uh, diet and exercise and stress reduction and lifestyle modification first. But I wanted to address Trimix because there's been a lot of questions about it. And I use Trimix to do a penile Doppler ultrasound where I inject it into the penis. Today and wait for about 15 to 30 minutes and while the penis is erect i can use an ultrasound machine to look at the blood flow from the arteries and look at the veins and look at the penis muscle while it's erect so it works well as inducing an erection and it has a high satisfaction rate nice but it also has some side effects as well too which i'm going to talk about so trimix is an injection all right, and it has to be compounded. And the first medication is called pentolamine. Pentolamine belongs to a class of drug called the alpha adrenergic receptor antagonist. So essentially how it works is that it blocks the action of epinephrine and norepinephrine, mainly on the corpus cavernosum of the penis because it's injected locally in there. And norepinephrine and epinephrine cause constriction of the blood vessels of the penis, and therefore it prevents an erection. No! So pentolamine blocks the effect of norepinephrine and epinephrine and therefore help with erection. Nice. As I mentioned before in my previous episode, that in order for you to get an erection, your mind has to be relaxed and your penis has to be relaxed. Because when you get an erection, that means that the penis muscle is actually in a relaxed state. And when your penis is flaccid, it's actually in a contracted state. It's opposite what you normally think. And norepinephrine, epinephrine is produced when you're in stress or when you're in an emergency state. So when you're stressed, you have a higher level of norepinephrine, epinephrine, and that's the reason why when you're stressed, it's hard for you to get an erection. So it has a rapid onset and between five to 20 minutes, and it peaks at around 10 minutes and it goes away at around 30 minutes or so, but it can also last as long anywhere between one to four hours. When I say it goes away, half of it, the concentration is gone by about 30 minutes, but it could last longer, like I mentioned earlier. The second medication is called alprostatal, and I'll put all that name of the medication underneath. It's known as a group of medication called prostaglandin E1 is a drug that a potent vasodilator or it opens up blood vessels and how it works in the corpus cavernosum or the penis muscle is that it relaxes the smooth muscle of the penis by opening up the arteries that lies within the penis. However, it is quickly metabolized, so it goes away quickly. 80% of it is being metabolized in about five minutes and the half-life is about five to 10 minutes. The third medication is called papaverine. It is an alkaloid 
opens up the blood vessel is the vasodilatory effect on the smooth muscle. And it works very similar to Viagra or Cialis in that it inhibits the breakdown of cyclic GMP and AMP, and it also inhibits the calcium channels on the cell as well, and therefore so it helps with smooth muscle relaxation, allowing more increasing blood flow. So how these three medications work is papaverin work on the smooth muscle relaxation, alprostatal work on opening up the blood vessels of the penis, and pentolamine works on blocking the effect of epinephrine and norepinephrine, again, opening up the blood vessels as well. So they work synergistically together. Most of the time, if you're gonna do bimix, it's pentolamine and alprostatal. Trimix is three of them working together. So who needs Trimix? Usually men that has ED or is refractory to taking Viagra or uh, Cialis or is sensitive to Viagra and Cialis. So how safe is it? You shouldn't be using Trimix if you have a sensitivity to the injection as well if you're on blood thinner or medication that may affect blood clotting or you had a history of priapism in the past, or you have a deformity of the penis, such as Peroni DD, or you have leukemia, sickle cell anemia, or multiple myeloma, or you have an infection in the penis or open sores. Now, there's no conclusive study regarding the risk of trimix injection while taking ED medication, but generally it is not advisable to take ED medication at the same time as doing Trimix, especially within 18 to 24 hours of each other, because you could have the side effect of uh, lower blood pressure, then you will have possibility of heart attacks, strokes, and even passing out and dizziness. Oh, snap. This is getting interesting. So Trimix usually comes uh, what they call a freeze dry, and so it has to be mixed with sterile water, and once it's mixed, you have to refrigerate it. Again, once you mix it, that bottle should be reused after 28 days because there's risk of infection anytime a bottle is punctured for the first time through the rubber. So you have to label the date that you used it, you put it in the refrigerator, and after 28 days, you have to throw it away and try mix it. It's odorless, colorless, sometimes it's white, sometimes it's a little bit yellowish color. And what you do is you self-administer it. You would draw it in uh, insulin syringe, the orange insulin syringe, and the prescription can be from 20 units to about 30 units, but please do not self-adjust. You have to talk with your doctor about it, what dose you should be on. You don't want to inject too much. If too much, you run risk of priapism as well. So. The benefits of Trimix is that it works, it has a high rate of satisfaction, but it involves injection uh, with a needle. Now, one thing I want to say is that when you're injecting the penis with a needle repetitively, and I've seen this in my patient that had tried Trimix, is that you tend to have scar tissue in the corpus cavernosum, and you start developing Peroni disease, and you may have the bending of the penis, and it will actually even cause ED. Even though you use it for ED, but prolonged use, you can have developed ED because of the scar tissue that gets developed. And most of the time you see it on the right side, because most men are right-handed, they inject on the right side of the penis. So you should really switch side on the side of the penis, but there are so many times you can inject the penis and it's gonna start developing scar tissue. Who develop it, how fast it is, how often you use it, where you inject as well. There's also side effects of pain at the injection site. Oh, I cringe at every time you have sex, you inject yourself, it's quite painful. And then I recommend three times a week of sex, so that's a lot of injection. <laughs> And there's also risk of bleeding, like having bleeding if you inject into a vein, and also the risk of swelling and bruising. 
as well. And then there's prolonged erection or priapism. And priapism is usually defined as an erection lasting more than four hours. And actually priapism can actually lead to ED because of the damage of smooth muscle and the blood vessels as well. And if you do have priapism, go to the ER immediately. I'm calling an ambulance. So you can get an injection that reverses the priapism or an injection that reverses the vasodilatation effect. Now, Trimix should not be taken lightly. It is a medication with serious side effects. If taken too much of a dose, your blood pressure can drop and you can feel dizzy as well as uh, passing out or using it repeatedly will cause scar tissue development and not to mention bruising. So I suggest that if you're gonna use Trimix is to try to also use pumping as well along with that and add lifestyle modification to add your diet and exercise sleep moderate your alcohol and stopping smoking and also explore other treatment out there that is not surgery okay such as you know play the rich plasma inject into the penis works like trimix actually increasing blood vessel development and repairing injured blood vessels as well shockwave does the same thing increases more blood vessel density and repairing blood vessels in the penis. And then Botox. Botox works like a pavarin or even Viagra by relaxing the smooth muscle of the corpus cavernosum as well as even working on the nerve as well. So just know that there are other alternatives, but if you have to use Trimix, make sure that you use it under your doctor's guidance and don't over dosage and just be careful. Change the injection uh, site if you start to feel that you have some scar tissue that develop, then it's probably a good time to explore other options because scar tissue or Peroni disease is difficult to treat and require intensive treatment, sometimes even surgery as well. And sometimes even surgery with complication of ED. And you don't want to have one treatment that treat ED and then end up having ED because of the complication of that treatment. Not a chance. Not this time. And you know how I feel that I'm a big proponent of natural restoration of your sex life and your erection. And if you start early, you can definitely do that. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hello there. Want an amazing sex life? This free gift is going to give you more sex by helping you get harder and lasting longer. Let's talk about the most sensitive subject, the effect that aging has on your sex life. If you're over 40, there's about 67% chance that you have to deal with one or more of these issues. You sometimes go soft in the middle of sex. You sometimes have trouble lasting long enough to climax. Your erection just doesn't feel as hard as it used to be and your penis is not as sensitive as it used to be, you cannot reach orgasm or ejaculate, you sometimes have trouble getting an erection, these things lead to frustration and embarrassment when you cannot please your partner. My name is Dr. Ann Trung, and I've been treating men for issues like this for over 25 years. As a board-certified medical doctor who specializes in men's health, I help over 7,000 men reverse the effect of ED. As a way to introduce you to the ED treatment that I offer, I want to give you the most incredible free gift ever. But don't let the fact that it's free gift fool you. This powerful gift will help you get harder and stay and last longer and may just revolutionize your sex life, making sex more exciting, more thrilling, and an amazing experience again. How is that? So here's what you're going to get in this most incredible free gift. Number one, a good morning wood smoothie recipe. This is my specially formulated antioxidant recipe that will help you get harder and stay and stimulating more blood flow. It is formulated to increase your nitrous oxide level, which is one of the biggest keys to making you harder and firmer more often and will also help you last longer. It is filled with lots of greens that create more nitrous oxide in your blood. This smoothie will give you that morning wood effect and will also make you harder on demand 
when you need it most. And you'll see the effect in about several weeks. Number two, nitrous oxide testing strip. You will also get two of these strips, which you will use along with simple instruction to test your nitrous oxide level in your saliva. Nitrous oxide is a gas in your body and is required for good blood flow to the organ. The strip can determine if your nitrous oxide are deficient, which can help us advise you on the best way to reverse your ED. Even more important, since since ED is an early warning sign of problem with circulation and heart health, this can also be a great way to prevent heart-related problems such as strokes and heart attack. Number three, and the best part of all, a 30-day free trial access to the Modern Man Club. As part of our mission to make men hard again, we launched the Modern Man Club as a way to provide education and support to community of men who's on the path to reversing their ED. With pre-recorded and live session being offered every week, um, I will help men regain sexual health through training, support. I will be there all the way with you to hold your hand through, so that way you can overcome ED and have your best sex life. Members rave about this session and the sense of community they gain by being a member of the Modern Man Club. And all you have to do is to say maybe to this offer. And once you say maybe, you will be on your way to a more fulfilling and exciting sex life. So all you have to do is fill down the form below and then I will see you on the inside. Thanks for listening to the Sexual Health for Men podcast. If you love this episode, then please take a screenshot on your phone and post it on Facebook, Instagram, or wherever you post. And be sure to tag me and let me know why you like this episode and what you like to hear in the future. That will help me know what's great for you. And I would love to give you the most incredible free gift designed to help you improve performance quickly. Go to my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com to get the book, The Five Common Costly Mistakes Men Make When Facing ED. I would appreciate it if you subscribe, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen, and just know that you can have sexual vitality for life. I appreciate you. Until next time.